Can you guys imagine a world where people are walking around in robotic suits, including yourselves? Uh, exoskeletons will one day revolutionize the way we live, uh, but more importantly, will help the handicapped. Um, I've always been fascinated with technology, um, specifically artificial limbs and organs. Uh, with that being said, I did my research on exoskeletons. After today, my hope is that you will all have a better understanding of exoskeletons and what they can help us accomplish. Uh, I will begin by introducing this technology and what it is. Then I will explain some of its uses. Finally, I uh, will discuss the future of exoskeletons. So what is an exoskeleton? Uh, it is an external skeleton that uh, provides support and protection. It can help us perform difficult tasks, such as heavy, uh, heavier weights, and it can help people walk who are like paralyzed from the waist down. Um, they're typically powered by portable batteries and have sensors on them. Uh, and they usually have a computer on them so they can process movement. So now that I've given you an idea of what an exoskeleton is, uh, I will now discuss some of its applications. So an exoskeleton can assist soldiers. Uh, there's an exoskeleton by the name of XOS2. It is a robotic suit manufactured by the company Raytheon for military purposes. According to Army technology, uh, this suit will enhance the abilities of a typical U.S. soldier without causing any fatigue or exhaustion. Um, so far, prototypes are being made uh, and an untethered or uncorded version will be released by 2020. Um, an exoskeleton can also help uh, paraplegics walk again. Um, wheelchairs will no longer be needed in the future. According to Leslie Mertz's article, The Next Generation of Exoskeletons, Exos exoskeleton developer Omayun Kazaruni wants to build a cheap but efficient exoskeleton um, that will enable handicaps to perform basic movements. Kazaruni wants to build a cheap exoskeleton so that people who don't have a lot of money can afford them. Uh, I have just finished talking about the applications of exoskeletons. Next, I will discuss what the future has in store for this promising new technology. One day we're all going to become Iron Man. And then, no, I'm just um, uh, exoskeletons might be used in the army in the future. Um, they're going to be used in clinics for rehab. Um, they can also, they might also be in the police force. They'll um, assist the elderly. Eventually, wheelchairs are going to become obsolete. Um, In Daniel P. Ferris's article, The Exoskeletons Are Here, he firmly believes that exoskeletons today, like computers back in 1978, uh, will become popular over time. So this means that they're going to become popular. Um, so there might be a day where everyone will be walking around like robotic suits. So now that I've given you I've now given you information on the exoskeleton and what it can help us accomplish. Uh, I hope that I sparked an interest in all of you to learn more about this technology. I first just talked about the what an exoskeleton is, uh, the applications, and the future for the exoskeleton. Um, technology is expanding every day, and with this new technology, there's no limits to what a human can do. Uh, 